Vivan Sundaram left us uh, this morning after a long and painful illness. Uh, how, how do you remember Vivan? First of all, uh, huge, huge condolences to his partner in work and vision, Geeta Kapoor, and his entire family. Uh, Vivan was an artist, of course, who defies categorization, uh, but he was an amazingly compassionate and uh, uh, hugely visionary human being. Uh, and uh, his work cut across mediums, uh, always being concerned uh, with the striving working classes, ideas of social justice, and uh, reflecting uh, uh, violence through various mediums, including being the first artist who uh, sort of led the whole culture of installation, uh, the mass and targeted violence that our country has been seeing over the last three decades. Uh, his loss will be deeply personal and political. Uh, for me uh, and those of us at Communism Combat, Sabrang and Citizens for Justice and Peace, he was an abiding, uh, uh, committed supporter and, uh, and, and family of our uh, wide, wide viewership. But for me, he's as much part of this wonderful collective called Sehmat, uh, where so much of his work uh, was grounded and was taken forward. But I remember getting to know Vivan and Geeta, of course, personally, but I remember his work. I mean, it's so astounding. Which one do you talk about? I remember the his, his talking about the 1968 UK uh, protest that he was so, so inspired by while he was there. And he comes back to India and then he does his fantastic ink uh, ink pen drawings of the uh, uh, Heights of Machu Picchu, uh, the, the poem by Pablo Naruda, which, 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 the, which take verses from the poem and he illustrates them so beautifully and those prints are available. And then he visits, uh, I think, Auschwitz in 1989 and comes back with an amazing series, uh, you know, depicting the Holocaust survivors which is also extremely well known. Personally, I remember that that uh, that series is called Long Nights, but I remember clearly uh, the Babri Masjid demolition, which, uh, which hit all of us, or some of us at least, uh, very, very deeply in terms of work, in terms of uh, priorities, and in terms of choices, was followed, um, as many people know, as many people remember, by brute collective violence in my city of Bombay then, which is Mumbai today. And uh, uh, we're closely, closely associated with uh, uh, Vivan and Zemmat. And he does this, uh, a couple of years later, he does this installation called Memorial, and uh, which, 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 he, which he brings to Bom Mumbai by then and uh, uh, Bombay. And he actually displays it at a warehouse in Mazgao Baikala. Uh, in a working class area and uh, the work was created uh, in response to the violent uh, conflict uh, intra-community and uh, collective violence conflict uh, in the early 80s and 90s, particularly the 90s. Uh, and uh, we were running, we had just begun working with our uh, uh, Education for a Plural India program, Koj, uh, in some private schools and he was very, very keen that young minds see his work and the school where we were working with in South Bombay uh, agreed and we took we took these young youngsters to view his installation and it was an amazing experience because they, they walked through it, uh, they imbibed it and then they spoke with the artist Vivan and after that uh, they came back and they did their own work in response to Vivan's um, installation called Memorial. So he was into this sort of mentoring, a deeply generous and committed human being uh, and uh, extremely concerned for where our country was going today, where it stands today, uh, where the world stands today, but particularly where India stands today. This politics of targeted hate uh, bothered him deeply. Unfortunately, his uh, uh, ailing health uh, hampered him. It bothered Gita deeply. And I recall after my release from my incarceration and even while I was in jail, his deep, deep concern for, uh, for, for my security, for my safety, for my future. 
he, he worked very closely with the Students' Federation of India and the All India Kisan Sabha. He was a committed Marxist and uh, his, his uh, constant uh, uh, artistic vision uh, along with his growth uh, as a human being reflected in the many, many bodies of his work. I mean, look at Vivan's work, uh, imbibe it, view it. And uh, you'll realize more and more that this artist who was trained originally in uh, Baroda, the MS University, but then went on to so many different uh, institutes and heights, uh, what he offered uh, to us in the world. Uh, I do believe that uh, wherever he is, uh, he'll create tremors and his contribution uh, uh, was very, very vast. And rebellious, I, I think rebelliousness, rebellious consciousness was his heritage. So for, for me, Vivan's contribution was very vast and a rebellious consciousness, his heritage. And I think it's that heritage that needs to be carried on. It's that heritage of constantly questioning, <coughs> rebelling, speaking out and protesting. A truly people's artist. I mean, goodbye, Vivan, we need to say, with a very, very heavy heart and tears even. But uh, Gita uh, will feel it most. Uh, but uh, knowing her and Vivan's partnership, uh, she will bear it as always with a dignified smile and fortitude. <laughs>